Close your eyes and watch your breath. As your breath comes in, know that it's coming in. It goes out, you know that it's going out. Try to stay right here. As for anything else that comes into your mind, you just let it go. You're trying to build some good qualities right here. Try to get the mind still, get the mind clear inside. Because the goodness that we enjoy in life comes from the good qualities that we built into the mind. As the Buddha said, one of the sources for happiness is having done meritorious things in the past. The problem is we forget about the things we've done in the previous lifetimes. We have no idea how much work went into that. And so when we come into this lifetime and things are easy for us, then we tend to take it for granted, forgetting that it came from a lot of work. The fact that we're human beings came from a lot of work. So as John Lee used to say, bow down to your mouth every day. In other words, think about all the difficulties that went into becoming a human being with a human mouth that can say things, can deliver messages, and all the kinds of things that the human beings have been able to say to one another, some of which are very inspiring, some of which are not inspiring at all. So what do you want to use your mouth for? This is a good thing to think about. We're coming into the rains retreat right now. This is a time for people to stop and think about where in their lives is their goodness still lacking? Do you want to spend your life just eating up all your old goodness, or do you want to create some good, new goodness right now? Here's your opportunity. The monks are going into the rains for three months. And it's a tradition among the monks that they encourage one another to accelerate their practice, accelerate their study, accelerate their meditation. And lay people have taken it as a good example. Here's the time to experiment for a while. Take on the precepts in a way that's more strict than you usually do. Be more generous than you usually have been. Meditate more than you have in the past. And a good place to focus your attention is on your mouth. What do you say with your mouth? The Buddha says there are four aspects to right speech. That it's true. That it's not divisive. That it's not harsh. In other words, it's not meant to hurt people's feelings. And it actually is useful. It's not just idle chatter. So where is your speech still lacking? You've got this human mouth. You don't know how much longer you're going to have it, so make the best use of it. Because through the human mouth we can say a lot of things and do a lot of good things. A lot of good can be accomplished by the things we say to other people. A lot of goodness can be destroyed by the things we say to other people, too. So it's like having a knife. You can use the knife to cut things that need to be cut, or you can use it to kill somebody, which doesn't need to be done at all. So what are you going to use it for? You've got this human mouth to make sure that you use it well. And this way you create what John Fuhring would call a monument to your life. In other words, do something special with your lifetime. Here's three months to experiment, to do something really special, more than you usually do something out of the ordinary. If the precepts that you, that you hold to are already in good, good shape, well, look at your meditation. There's always work that needs to be done in meditation. As the Buddha said, the secret to his awakening was he never let himself rest content with skillful qualities. If he hadn't gone all the way to the end of suffering, he wouldn't let himself say, well, this is enough, this is okay, I'm going to be satisfied right here. He didn't teach acceptance and patience and equanimity all the time. There were times he taught right effort, strong right effort. So look and see what is lacking in your life, what needs to be completed. Think of a, a John Munn's image. It's like having a fence around your house. And if your goodness is lacking in some places, it's like big holes in your fence. If there are a lot of holes in your fence, and animals can come in, thieves can come in, the fence doesn't have much meaning. It protects you from some things, but not from everything. So go and inspect your fence. See where there are holes in the fence and patch them up. So it gives you protection all around. You want your goodness to be all around. You can't rest content with just saying, well, I've been very generous in the past, that should be enough. You want your goodness to be complete, it has to include generosity and virtue and meditation. When it does, and when these things are complete, that's when you're really safe.